Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. Take a look at the screen and see this award won by somebody from this YouTube channel a couple of months ago. So Florence, who is a subscriber on this YouTube channel, won the Australian Awards in September last year and she's presently studying in Australia. You can see this award is um, obtainable in 2024. So this is a copy of our official letter confirming the outcome of the interview for this scholarship. Fortunately, the scholarship is open once again for this year. So the Australian Awards have sponsors fully funded, usually masters and PhD opportunities in Australia. Fully funded is open once again. So I'll talk you through the application process so that like um, Florence will be congratulating you by this time in a few months when you'll be preparing to uh, move to Australia to study on the fully funded scholarship. So if you're new, where have you been? I have been doing this for a while. So welcome and look around. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest. And do not forget to subscribe because even many more resources will be shared on this channel. And of course, if you're a returning viewer, a returning subscriber, Thanks for coming back. Thanks for the constant support. And I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So let's go straight to the business of the day. We're looking at the Australian Awards. So this award is fully funded. You can see on your screen the different things that it covers, the different goodies, including food, tuition, travel, living allowance, health insurance, um, different kind of leadership courses, field work, just everything is covered. If you get the scholarship, you wouldn't have to move any financial muscle. I should re actually re rephrase that. So when you get this scholarship, you wouldn't have to move any financial muscle. It got you covered through and through. So how do you apply? To apply for this scholarship, there are regional variations. So different regions, different continents might have different um application requirements so let's go to the different continental requirements so i just went down to the bottom of the page and i clicked on australian awards to see how to apply so quickly let's check the opening and closing dates together the opening dates and closing dates so the opening date is um the scholarship opened on the first of february and it's closing on the 30th of april so there's enough time this time. That's a good thing. So you can always prepare. So how do you apply particularly? That's very important. So you have to see the different country, um, what they call it, country profile. So let's see what is obtainable in your country or in the continent you're from. Because different continents might have different application processes. So let's go straight to Africa, where my country is based. So these are the African countries eligible for this scholarship. Of course, if you're not African, you can just go back there to your own continent um, and check whether your country is on the list. You can see Asia here. You can see the Pacific Ocean. You can see the Middle East, Africa, um, and the other countries. So let's just go back to Africa. So I'm using that for, for an example. So if you're African, these are the particular documents for candidates applying from the African continent. So I've opened this and you can see the list of the countries eligible on the continent. And I hope your country is there. It's, it is not an exhaustive list because there are more countries on the continent. But I hope, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope your country is on that list. So then for every continent, there are some special areas of focus. For instance, for Africa, the scholarship is focused on prosperity to reduce um, poverty to enhance political stability. So these are the particular areas or the fields of study they want you to prioritize. You can see climate change, agriculture and food security, mining and energy, foreign policy, international security, gender disability, and social inclusion. So whatever course you're choosing in Australia, it has to be falling into at least one of these categories. I hope that is clear. And for those applying from the African continent, um, you can only apply for a master's course, a master's. 
there are, from, there are some people or some continents where they also can apply for a PhD or even a bachelor's. But for those coming from the African continent, you have to apply just for a master's. I hope that is clear. So once again, these are the benefits. The uh, tickets, you get um, the allowance, tuition, living stipend, introductory course, insurance, and the rest of them, field work, and other goodies. So how do you apply? You do not need to apply to any of the courses. You can, of course, go to Google and look for a course in an Australian university. You can even check for participating universities as well. So go to um, Google, look for um, your desired course in an Australian university, whether it's um, um, a course work masters or a research based masters. So you can check that on your own, but do not apply. Just apply straight here on the portal. Just apply straight here on this portal. I think there's a link here to on how to apply. Let's look for the link quickly. So there's this online portal where you can apply. For the, for the scholarship and when you're nominated for the scholarship then you're invited to submit an application to the participating university or you even helped to apply to one of the participating universities so this is the application portal so what you can do here is look at the application guide and um, apply immediately so let's look at the application guide for instance this is the application guide it's also a pdf document it will instruct you on how to apply. Here you're meant to open, of course, open them, um, what they call it. Um, you're meant to open like a register and open an account, but then you can get a peek into what you'll be instructed to do by looking at the application guide. So I've opened it already here. This is, let's, take, let's go to the beginning of the page. So this is the application guide. This is the application guide. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because in page, um, what page is that, 28, 29, 28, you're meant to write some essays for this scholarship. Like this one is saying, how did you choose your proposed course and institution? So remember, you're meant to select, um, I think, about two, three courses and um, universities on your own. So you do your own Google search, select those courses. So now it's asking you, how did you find those courses? You can say, oh, you did your own research through Google, through um, a study website, or through a friend's recommendation. Just make sure you're making it clear that it's not accidental, that you actually did your research. You went through Google, you checked the course outline, you checked um, the course benefits and every other thing before you imputed them. So you could say you did your own research through your internet research. You could say a friend recommended you. You can see a professor pointed you to it. So there are several of these things you can do. You can even combine them. That a friend recommended this particular university to you and you went online to research the university yourself and the course in, in particular. And you found that it was a perfect fit. There are also questions about your career. Um, how the course will contribute to your career. You might say, oh, with this master's program or this master's degree you intend to get from this course, it will help you get promotion in your form, in your current place of work. Or it will help you start your own um, consultancy or it will make you more knowledgeable in your field and make you a sought after expert in your field. You know, things like that you can always combine this point. So promotion in your place of, of work or to start your own work or to increase your expertise to make you a sought after scholar, sought after professional um, in that field. But there are also things about the problems in your country that you intend to solve. So what is that key problem in that sector that you're working on that you intend to address? And how will the skills you learn from Australia help you sort out that um, problem? So whether it's um, food security, for instance, tell them how serious the food security issue is in your community. Tell them the number of or the quantity of food being lost every year due to food um, spoilage and show how your skills that will help food preservation, how it will prevent the spoilage of food and increase yield by farmers and increase nutrition of the consumers. So there are also other things here about your um, the skills you intend to learn. Um, probably leadership opportunities or leadership um, endeavors you've also undertaken. 
So you also have to introspect and put those down. But there are about three major essays or four of them that they expect you to um, write. In case you need help on how to write some of these essays, you can go to my channel, go to the home page, and check all these essay tutorials. There's some essay tutorials here. This one on Chevening. Chevening Scholarship has similar um, similar questions about why did you select this course, um, what are your leadership experiences and things like that, or even MasterCard. MasterCard also asks um, the same question. So you can also look at these videos and it will help you answer those questions asked by the Australian Awards. So it's very straightforward, guys. So just go to the portal, start applying. You might also, of course, need things like recommendation letters, things like your transcript, things like your, um, what they call them, transcript rec recommendation letter, um, and then the list of the universities you intend to apply to. I think that's also very important. So, of course, you can always go through the document. I've opened a number of them already. The application guide. You can go to the documents for your um, particular continent. So, this is the document for those from Africa. So, these are the documents they want you to provide, um, like your passport, undergrad certificate, transcript, your CV, um, employer's report, academic report. Um, I think they are also screen um, shorts or samples of these, um, what do they call them, these reports they're asking for. So there are samples of, I believe, samples of like recommendation letters or samples of those reports, like blank sheets where you can give to your recommenders to write for you. You can always go to the FAQ section to get those um, reports I just talked about. So remember, participating countries, they are also participating institutions. So you can also check for the participating institutions. Let's open this and see here as well. So it's a very long list of universities. At least one of these university here should have a course that interests you, a course that aligns with your background, with your skills, and with your ambition. So check very closely, do your homework, and see the university that provides that course for you. Then you've already seen the opening dates and closing dates, and then the FAQ section. So as usual, guys, you can see how I'm navigating the website, trying to bring up information for you. So at your own free time, it's also important that you go through this website, go through it thoroughly, and see how you get, you know, the materials that you need to apply for this scholarship. As usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you fully funded scholarship in Australia and it is not impossible to get Florence from this YouTube channel as you can see got it just a few months ago and now she's studying in Australia it can just be you in a number of months as well so do not be dismayed start putting your documents together yes it's competitive yes it's not going to be easy but it's going to be worth the stress as usual guys I cannot wait to celebrate you so get to work start crafting your CV, start doing your own research, and I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now, and do not forget to subscribe.